it's Kevin. Thank you so much for stopping by for another No BS social media chat. It's a big day here at the office. I know it doesn't look any different. It's our 100th episode. We've been doing these No BS social media videos for a couple of years now. Um, my buddy, um, Jay Isgro, who's a social media psychologist, I guess you'd say, or he's a psychologist who, who studies social media, uh, connected with me a couple of years ago and suggested I might do these things because of my radio background, because of my TV background, and more importantly, because of my no BS style. So he was kind of the one who, who got behind the whole no BS philosophy that we've taken with us through Intensity Media, to Kevin Mason Music Marketing, to whatever it may happen to be. And it's interesting because I'm one of these people, I, I spend a lot of time, I don't want to say a lot of time, but I'm often reflecting on what have I learned, where have I been, what have I done, what lesson can be learned from any particular situation. I was very much that way when I worked in radio where, where I didn't appreciate things necessarily as much as I should have for what they were. I was too worried about analyzing, evaluating, and figuring out how to do it better the next time. I guess that's a blessing and a curse. But here we are 100 episodes in, and, and it's crazy because, I mean, it, it's not easy doing these videos. It's not easy coming up with, I don't want to say a different topic every week, because there's a theme, there's a ribbon that runs through all of these videos, and, and more importantly, because it's just a man talking into a camera, because there's not back and forth, because there's not actually interaction going on right now, there, there's not a lot of easy way for it to be spontaneous and go in a different direction than what you expect. I mean, I knew today's topic was going to be, what have we learned? Because I look back after 100 episodes, okay, what do we learn? Because what's funny is, is what we've learned is, if you go back to the first few episodes, what gives us the right, when we talk about each of the individual social media networks, you know, three times a day, um, the rule of thirds, all these things, all these tenets that I don't want to say I came up with, that a lot of us came up with, a lot of it still rings true. Sadly, a lot of what we started talking about two years ago still holds true for a lot of people. There's still a lot of people holding out hope that this will all just go away, that it's just a big wasted time and exercise and that social media won't matter. There are a lot of different media types that are having a hard time adjusting to it. I mean, everything from newspapers to magazines to television, all the televisions embraced it in a uniquely different way. I don't necessarily think the television news organizations have embraced social media the proper way. They're just looking to get clicks, which I guess everybody is. They're just looking to get followers, fans, friends, which I guess we all are. But they're not really they're not really willing to interact with us. And I think that's what they're missing out. But I think, too, that's what a lot of my artists, a lot of my media personalities miss out on, is that they don't interact back with people. I understand. You know what? You can't do it with everybody. If you've got a huge fan base, how, how are you really going to interact with everybody? But you've got to find the time to be able to do that. So what have we learned? Well, what we've learned is, is that in the last couple of years, and heck, you can even go back to the 10 years I've been doing this, while a lot has changed, a lot of it's still the same the basic problems, the basic human nature of us hasn't changed. We're trying to adapt, but you can't just adapt in a couple of years. You can't just change up. You know, living your life uh, on a smartphone, living your life on a tablet, living your life on in a laptop, whatever it is, all the time being self-absorbed isn't for everybody. I'm amazed at some of the young people I connect with online, whether it's Instagram, whether it's Twitter, whatever it is, and just how how easily they move into social media. You know, it's interesting. What I do for a living, basically, you know, work with people and build their social media skills and connections and, and, and basically do social media for a lot of people is a lot of times done by young people because young people have been on Facebook since day one. It was aimed at college students. And, and young people aren't afraid of that technology. I've always been one to, you know, I don't text a whole lot because text messaging is just not, is not fulfilling for me. Although young people, the millennials, are into text messaging all the time. Now, I don't mind phone, I don't mind video chat, I don't mind what it is, I don't mind the technology. It's just for me, I, I, you keep going back and forth and back and forth and it all could have been handled. It, it would take 20 minutes, could have taken five minutes on the phone. But again, that's just a personal thing, but I deal with it. I have a lot of people, if they prefer to text, we'll, we'll text. That's okay with me. What we've learned, while a lot has changed in two years, while a lot has changed in the social media era of the last 10 years, going back to Friendster and MySpace, a lot of it still hasn't. Some people get it, some people don't. Some people just want to make it about them. It's about me, 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 me. And that's not going to change. But you can change. You can start using the social media tools properly. I'm constantly adjusting and retooling and refining and making mistakes. And that's the big key. I'm not ashamed to make mistakes. I, to this day, still can't figure out why I can post a picture one day and have it get 10 likes and have a similar po picture posted the next day and have it get 50. 
Maybe it's just the time of the day. Maybe it's what's going on in those people's world. And that's what you got to learn to deal with. You can't get all caught up in the numbers like I, I often do. That's what I get paid to do. But it's important to sit back, evaluate, and more importantly, do what you love. Spend more time on the social media sites that you enjoy and less time on the other ones. There are going to be some you're going to have to spend whether you like to or not. That's just the way it is. We'll be back with another No BS social media chat. You know where to find all the videos. Heck, we're 100 in. I'm not thinking you're finding us right now, or maybe you just are. But you can find my phone number, my email, coming up next. And I thank you so much as we go to the next 100 and beyond, if I can come up with that many topics. Thanks so much.